What's up guys, it's RJ. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content from me, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you read the description below, then you know we're doing a favorites video, and that's a first here on my channel. I thought what better month to kick it off than my birthday month, March. So without further ado, let's get into some of my favorite items for this month. So first up is this awesome pair of Adidas Gazelle sneakers that my daughter got me for my birthday. Um, I don't wear tennis shoes very often, but I love mint, teal, aqua, blue colors. Um, it is my favorite. And when I saw these, I was like, oh my God, I want them so bad. Um, but it's just not something I would probably ever buy for myself. So she got these for my birthday and I'm sure they look huge because I do wear a size 11. They are brand new. I have not yet got a chance to wear them. The weather's been kind of icky and they are so pretty that I don't want to get them all muddy. Um, but I can't wait for um, spring summer to really kick in so that I can wear these out and about. Next up is some hair stuff. I wash my hair probably every three days um, and then as soon as I wash it, I blow dry it out and then flat iron it straight. Um, so my hair has always got a lot of heat on it and so I like to try to take good care of it. So when I wash it, I want to make sure I'm getting a deep down clean. So I have started using this lemon rinse clarifying treatment. I actually got this one inside a Target beauty box and loved it and have since bought the full size. The full size is only $10 and I didn't grab it, but it's like, I don't know. This is two ounces, the full size probably six or eight ounces for $10. I don't believe they sell it in all Target stores. I actually had to order mine online, um, but I love it. So you just wash your hair like normal and then you put, uh, I used about a nickel size. <laughs> of course I don't have much hair, but, and then I just rub it all through, comb it through, and then I let it sit in my hair for about five minutes and then rinse it out. Oh my God, I can feel such a difference when I do this treatment as versus when I skip it. It really makes my hair feel great. Also, I am really enjoying this Smooth Sexy Hair. It's Smooth and Seal um, in the purple bottle. So this is just like a finishing spray. So after I finished like flat ironing my hair, spray this in just kind of finger comb it through and it gives it a really nice sheen to it um, without being heavy so this is something that you can use um, two three four days in a row without it weighing your hair down and making it feel greasy or oily it also doesn't take much uh, just a quick spray and you're good to go if you guys have not tried these um, sugar scrubs from Bath and Body Works you are missing out um, I picked these up during their last um, big sale so I think these are yeah these are normally $16.50 I got them for I think three dollars and fifty cents each. I bought seven or eight of them. I wish I would have bought twenty. So I use these in the shower, um, not all over. I concentrate on my arms, and I don't know about you, but I always used to have these kind of like little bumpy feeling things on the back of my arms, and you know I would use lotion and stuff, but it would never get rid of it. I think after using probably the first bottle, which probably took me I don't know two three weeks to go through. Um, they were gone. My skin, my arms felt so smooth. I loved it. So this is now my go-to. I only have like two bottles left, so I don't know what I'm going to do um, when they run out because I don't think I would pay $16.50, but hopefully um, they will have another sale and I can stock up on a bunch more. And I think they change up the packaging from time to time, so you may not see this exact one, but it's just the golden sugar scrub. All right, next up is some face care. So I went to a Murad event at Ulta, and, you know, whenever they, I got a free facial, and they, of course, you know, show you all the products they use, and um, one of the things she had used was this toner. It is the Murad Hydrating Toner. Um, it's in the green color, and it kind of has like a um, pear kind of scent to it. I love this. First of all, I love that it's just a spray and it's a really fine mist. It's one of those that you can use to tone and then you can use it kind of like some people do the Max Fix Plus. You can use it throughout the day to hydrate your skin. It's got a great smell. I love how it feels. So I have been using this um, pretty much every single day, two or three times a day um, this month and I am loving it. Sample of the It Bye Bye Under Eye Eye Cream. 
I think this came, it was either in a box or I used points to get it. I can't remember which, but I've been using it and I really like it. Um, you know, you use a lot of different stuff and you can't always tell if it's really working, but I've noticeably seen a difference since I've been using this in the puffiness. Um, usually I get kind of like dark circles under my eyes um, because I don't get enough sleep and it's really been reducing that. So um, I definitely think this is a product when this little sample runs out, I will be replacing it with the full size. All right, and my last skincare item is the Drunk Elephant C Firma Day Serum. It's a firm plus brightener. And I got this in, they had a little um, kit at Christmas time that had two of these in it, this one and another one. I love this one. Um, something about it when I put it on my skin, my skin soaks it up, it feels hydrated, it feels brighter. Um, you know, it's a daytime serum. A small sample has lasted almost the whole month and I use it sometimes twice a day, but at least um, every morning in my morning routine. So I'm definitely gonna pick up the full size. Drunk Elephant is expensive, but if you find something in skincare that you like and works well with you, then I think it's worth the cost. So this one is really great. If you haven't tried it, I'm definitely at least pick up the small size. I think you can still get this in some other sample pack. Try it out, see if it works for you. Last non-beauty beauty thing is this Kat Von D Locket Makeup Setting Spray. I am kind of addicted to buying setting sprays. I don't know what it is, but I see them and I want to try them. I'm looking for the perfect one to really just keep my makeup in place, not feel sticky, not when I spray it out, get a bunch of spots all over my face. So when you spray it, and hopefully you can see it, it's this really fine mist. It doesn't come out hard or heavy, and it has got just this really good staying power. I really like how my face feels when I use it. I can tell a difference at the end of the day everything seems to still be in place it's just the little travel size I always like to buy the minis first um, and see if I like it this is another one that I definitely think I would get the full size when this runs out all right guys and lastly let's cover some of my favorite makeup items I've been using this month First up is this Urban Decay Naked Skin BB Bronzing Balm. I actually purchased this a while back in Nordstrom Rack. It was in, um, they had a whole bunch of Urban Decay stuff that was on sale and I picked it up. Um, but I feel like when I first tried to use it, it was summer and I was still kind of dark and it was a little too light for me. Um, but I just used this the other, well, I guess right at the end of February and I have been using it this whole month since and I'm like oh my god why didn't I pick it up sooner so this product is still available but the packaging I think is different which is probably why I was at Nordstrom, Nordstrom's rack uh, but it is great this is one of those great no makeup makeup days looks um, you know it's a BB cream so it's really light I'll zoom you in So this is what I'm using today and as you can see you know it's just light coverage you can still see my freckles through it um, but I like it because it just looks better than when I walk out of the house with no makeup so that has been one of my favorites for this month so another item that I've had for a while and just picked up is Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer um, I actually got this in one of those like gift bags that you get free with purchase um, at Ulta yes and was really shocked because this wasn't on the list of things that was included. So I don't know if it was a mistake or just my lucky day. Um, but I like this bronzer. It's, um, I've actually got it on today too. Um, I use it just as a contour around the hairline, cheek, and then a little bit in the jawline. I like it. The shade is really good for me. Plus it's got just a little bit of shimmer to it, um, which I like as well. So another good one that I have been So next up is the Too Faced new highlighter, um, Too Faced Love Light. This is Ray of Light, which is the um, rose gold highlighter. Um, now I know a lot of people were kind of so-so on these. What's funny is it doesn't show up too much on camera, but I really like it. Um, I know that the people that I have seen swatch it, um, were fair complected. Let's see if I can zoom you in. And so maybe that has something to do with it. Um, I have a slightly darker complexion, so I like it. Um, it's just, it's not, overwhelming when it comes to a highlighter. I mean, I definitely have some that when I put on, it's like, God damn. Um, this isn't one of those, but I like it that it's a nice touch of uh, sheen, sparkle, glow, 
and it's good for those days when like today I have a light foundation um, I have light makeup I don't need a huge highlighter but I want a little something so when I'm walking outside and the Sun hits you see it you see the glow it's there guys another thing that I have been loving is these new ColourPop pressed eyeshadows. Um, I've made two orders so far. I got four and then I ordered another four and I probably have about seven sitting in my cart right now. Um, I used them today to create this eye look. Let me zoom you in. So I used four of the shades today and this is what I call my Neapolitan eye look. Um, so on the crease I used Made to Last. Then in my inner corner, I use Come and Get It, which is a beautiful pink shimmery shade. And then in the outer corner, I use a combination of You Know the Drill and then Come and Get It, which is, oh, I'm sorry, no, Save It for Later, sorry, which is a, doesn't show up on camera as much, but it's a darker gold and then I just blended those all in. So I bought this Z palette and I'm hoping to fill it up. But yeah, I really like it. Um, I use a eyeshadow primer. I do find that it makes them last a little bit longer when I don't use it. Um, I don't feel like I get a full day wear out of them. Um, so I definitely feel they have more lasting powder power if you use an eye primer. All right, so I've just got two more items. They are both lip products. This one has been getting a lot of hype. It is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit um, Liquid Lip Gloss, uh, not glosses, liquid lipsticks. I have three. Um, this is my favorite, which is Rebel Rose. It is what I am wearing today. Um, I also have a mocha one and then this one right here, which is very recognizable. So these are great for a few reasons. One, they're inexpensive. Um, I bought these when they were like three for $10 at Walgreens. Two, they are long lasting. And three, they are not drying. They are very comfortable to wear, which is a plus. I cannot stand when I put a liquid lipstick on and within like an hour, either my lips feel like I need to like dip them in aloe vera or the product is like flaking cracking and doesn't look well um these do not do any of that so if you haven't picked these up yet go do it all right and lastly on the other end of the spectrum is this touch in soul metal metallist liquid foil lipstick duo that i picked up from sephora um now this was 24 dollars, i believe um, but it is two in one liquid it lipstick on one end and a lip gloss on the other i actually saw this um a while back if you made a purchase of like 24 dollars, you could get one free and i saw it i never got the sample but i was in store and i swatched them there's some gorgeous colors uh, but i picked up this one which is number three maria um it's a real like pretty coppery color and when you do the lip gloss on top of it, it just has this great liquidy dripping money look. I don't know how to explain it, but it's gorgeous. Um, the stain power on this is great. You can put it on. Um, I believe it, now I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was transfer proof. Um, I remember drinking some soda and there was nothing on the straw, so... There's All right, guys, so that is it for my March favorites. Um, a little bit of fashion, a little bit of hair care, some skin care, and as always, makeup. Um, if you guys like this, again, let me know. Um, like I said, this is something new for me to do, so trying it out, see how it works. And as always, I enjoy making these videos so much. I hope you guys enjoy watching them, and until next time, bye, guys.